Hi, I'm Allison from Girls With Ideas, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a website about your idea. Today we're going to use the website platform called Strikingly. At Girls With Ideas, we are not affiliated with Strikingly, but we love suggesting it because we find that it's the simplest way to make a website that looks really beautiful and that kids can use it pretty easily. So to start, you can go to strikingly.com, spelled like this, S-T-R-I-K-I-N-G-L-Y.com, and we'll pull you up to make an account. So if you are leading a Girls With Ideas group, I would recommend that the group leader puts in um, his or her name, email, and makes a password. Or if each girl is going to be making her own website, just make sure that she has access to the email that's in there, whether it's hers or her parents' email. So go ahead and put that in and then click Get Started. I've already made an account, so I'm gonna go to the Login button in the upper right hand corner and put in my information. So here's what it shows when you log in or create an account. And you can make multiple websites for free using this account. Everything that I'm gonna show you on Strikingly today is free. If you did wanna upgrade to do things like accept payments for things or have a specific domain that you've already purchased, that would um, you would need to upgrade your account, but you can make a beautiful website uh, for free. So I'm gonna to go to the big green button and create new site, so create a new website. And click on that. And what it's gonna show me is a list of options for templates. So a template makes it really easy for especially kids to make their website. So you can look at, there's different categories that are suggested for let's say if you, the girls were making a business website or if they were creating a blog, um, but you can use any template you want. So you can look through and see the style that you like. And what the template will do, whichever one you select, it will put in there how it is, how it appears, and then all you need to do is edit it. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to start from. I'll go ahead and pick this one called Zine. So you can view an example of the website that will blow it up and make it bigger. Or if you say you like it, you can say start editing, click the green button. If the girls decide that they want a different template after they've already started creating the website, that is totally fine. Um, it's very easy to change the template if they change their mind. So you don't need to spend a lot of time um, on picking it to begin with. When you first log in, there will be a little editor that will take you on a tour. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can take the tour. Um, for this video, I'm gonna show you what I think um, is easiest. So here's what it looks like when you go to edit your website. And the easiest thing to do to edit is to hover your mouse over anything that you want to edit and double click and you can actually type in over what you would like to say instead of what the template says. So for the purpose of this, let's say that I want to make a website for a coffee cart. I love coffee. So maybe I wanna have a coffee cart at my school and call it Allison's Coffee Cart. So I can just type it in right there and I can highlight it and make it bold or add a link to something or I can, um, make it centered in different ways or make it smaller or larger. If I didn't want this text, I could actually just highlight it and delete it. I can hover over any button or image and click edit and it will allow me to change the link or the text. Maybe I wanna say, but first coffee here instead, just click save. Now it says that there. So the easiest way to edit is to just hover highlight and change what you want to want to change. Anytime you see text, you can just highlight it. If you see an image, you can hover over it and click edit. And here you can do one of many things. You can replace it with an image that you have. So a very common thing is that girls maybe have a logo for their idea. They could actually draw out a logo with markers and you could take a photo of it or they could make a logo on some of the applications where you can design logos online. And they could upload that there. Strikingly also has a library where they can choose different icons. Perhaps they have, they made a Twitter account or an Instagram account. They can put um, the, the Twitter logo there. So you can use that as well. 
can save that. Or um, if you click image or video, you can also put a link to a video that you have up. If you don't like something that's in the template and you want it deleted, you can just click the X and it will highlight everything that it will delete. And we'll say, sure. It's like, yeah, I just need one box there to, to type over. On the template, everything that's on here will be on almost all strikingly templates on one page. So if I just scroll through, you can see every section. And a section is each element um, that is a tab at the top. So here, if I clicked on home, it would take us up home. What we do, we click there. And every template has traditional things that are in a website. There's usually a what we do, about us, contact us. Maybe you wanna keep all of those, but maybe you want a simple website with just a home and a contact us. So if I wanted to delete this whole section of what we do, I'd go over to this gray part of what we call the power editor. And you'll see right here, it says sections. And all of these sections line up with the sections that are on the website. So if I wanted to delete services, I would click it, and then I could press delete this section. Or if I just wanted to name it something else, I could click on the settings button and click rename. Maybe I wanna add a whole new section. So I could click add new section, and here are templates for different sections. Um, if you want to add a store, again, that's an upgrade. If you wanted to embed something, add a social feed of different uh, accounts that the girls have made. I would say the most common one that I've seen girls ads, add are profiles for themselves. And you can see here, you can do it here. I always think it's nice for each girl to put a photo of herself with a little bio. Um, that's very common in websites and good to know. A lot of the girls also like to add blogs. Um, so that's a section that I see used often and you can trade who, who does what blog. Up here you'll see though in the background image, well, first of all, in the background I can change kind of the layout, you see how things change. But this is an image of a lighthouse and I am trying to sell my coffee cart. <laughs> so I wanna change that to an image or video related to coffee. So I'll click background right here and a little box will drop down. And here I can choose an image or video to put in the background. Now maybe I have an image that's a photo of me selling coffee or um, a picture that I've drawn of coffee that I could upload. I would click upload here and I'd be able to add that from my computer. But Strikingly has a very beautiful library of photos that are all taken by professional photographers and licensed for you to use. So you can click by category here to browse through the photos or if I wanted to look for a photo of coffee, I could actually just type coffee right here and click search. And all these different photos of coffee will come up. And I can pick one, let's say, I'll pick this one. I just click on it and then the image in my background will change to that. If I don't like it, I can change it again. I can um, change the layout a little bit to look better with the text. If I wanted to look at a video, I could upload a video that I have from YouTube, one that I made. Or I can click more and look at different video clips that are up here from Strikingly. Again, there's categories. Um, so, oh, here's a little video of coffee. So I'm gonna click that. And when people log into my website, they'll see this little video clip. It may take a second to load, which is super cool. And just need to make sure that you hit save. Strikingly does save automatically, but I always instruct the girls to every once in a while go up in the gray power editor over here and click save now just to double check. I also wanna show you what these four gray buttons in the power editor do. So if you look up here, this button preview, if you click that, it will give you a preview of what your website looks to people when they view it. So in this form, you'll see, for example, right here, it says add subtitle and there's a dotted line. That's because it's in editor mode and I can see that it has that, but in preview mode, it will show that that's actually doesn't exist um, to the viewer. So that's a good way to check what people are seeing as you're editing. If you click styles, this is where you can change your template. So here you can click it and see the different templates. So if you decide maybe there's another template that would work better, you can preview what it would look like with the content you already have in and then choose uh, to change to that. Or not, you can go back. 
You can also choose a color scheme, and here is where you change the fonts for the whole website. So instead of editing the font text by text, um, it makes a whole uh, text scheme um, for the website where you can edit there. In settings, here is where you name your website and you write a little description of it. And if you want, you can put it in a category. And what this does is it helps the search engines be able to search for your website for it to come up. Something else that I think is really important is the domain of your website. So Strikingly will automatically give you a URL and typically it looks like this. It says site and it has a ton of numbers, which is super hard for people to remember. Um, so let's say I wanted to call it coffee cart. To check to see if this uh, URL is available, I'd click this and press update. And it had a check mark, which means it is available. So by changing this, this would mean that I'd say, hey, do you want to know more about Alston's coffee cart? Then go to coffeecart.strikingly.com. And that would be my URL. If you wanted to take the strikingly out of it, that's when you would need to upgrade for the paid account. But I've never had trouble um, with people um, adding the strikingly.com at the end. So that's how I know uh, what URL I have. And then after I'm ready for my website to be done and to publish, you have to actually click publish right here. Um, and if you go in to edit your website and make changes, those changes will not show up live on your website until you hit publish. So that's important to remember. That is what I have to show you for Strikingly. I cannot wait to see what websites you create on this beautiful platform. If you have questions, you can always ask the Strikingly chat over here in the bottom right hand corner question mark um, if you have questions. Or you can email girlswithideas at hello at girlswithideas.com.